welcome back everyone my name is Adnan Chaudhary from One Shoot Productions today we are going to create a 3d text in Photoshop uh, for this 3d text we will need a Photoshop CS6 extended version because it is pretty much easy in Photoshop CS6 so let's get started without wasting your time we will go to file new for simply press ctrl n from your keyboard to get any document and we will name this document as text okay so the size of the document is depends upon your desktop uh, or whatever you want to be like so uh, width is 920 and the height is 90 pixels and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch and the background contents are transparent and okay press ctrl 0 to size it up now we will press ctrl T to call up your text tool and give it click on anywhere on the canvas to type your text I'll type our channel name one production TV so the size of the text is 250 pixels and the font I am using is century gothic uh, maybe it is a default font of uh, Microsoft but if uh, you didn't find it in your fonts you just go to Google and type century gothic and you will found this font easily and the type is regular it will you can found them in too many uh, I can say taste or anything else whatever this is called so uh, okay so I'm just wasting your time okay so what we will do is we will simply just uh, uh, watch our color is black so click on move tool and press ctrl a to center this so for the center uh, we will just click on this icon which is second one align vertical centers it will align it to center, uh, center uh, vertically center and now we will just click from last to second last it will align it to horizontal so uh, now press ctrl D and now what we will do is we will simply just actually we don't need to do anything else now we will just add up to 3 so we will click right click on this uh, text layer and click on new 3d extrusion from selected layer now what we will do is we will simply just click on OSP TV front inflation material and we will click on diffuse. Now we will select a color like blue color just for rendering we change it later so uh, maybe a little more darker much better okay so it's pretty much nice here. So if you want to copy this, it is just 0096 double F and hit OK. Now we will click on OSP TV extrusion material. Click on diffuse. Now we will change it uh, to yellow or little uh, golden type text, which is pretty much nice. Actually, we want to shine this color so. Uh, uh, this is F F D E double zero and uh, uh, hit OK. Now just close this arrow. Click on Layers panel and we will select the background layer and we will give it a right click and change it to postcard. Click on Layers and now we'll press Shift and select both of this layer and we'll press Control plus E to merge them in a single layer but it will not render this uh, because it will just make one layer of these both layers so you can see that all of these are separate here all of these settings are separate you can see that here the background one and the text one okay so now what we will do is we will simply just go to 3D and render this it will take too much time to render so uh, we will skip the rendering time uh, let me tell you one thing that maybe the 3d will not work some of your pcs because maybe you don't have a 3d card or maybe you have low specs so that's why you can't use 3d but if you can use 3d having low specs computer uh, then it is uh, it is good thing so you can do that I hope so 
let's skip the rendering time and we will meet after completing the render okay so we have finished rendering and we got these results now what we will do is we will simply just go to layers and we will just uh, click select this layer right click on that and just click on rasterize 3d now uh, we got what we want so now simply we will just change the some color corrections so what we will do is simply just uh, let's create a copy of that so we will see that what's going on on the original and with the effective color so we turn on the second layer and now we will select the magic wand wand tool and we will select the front text press shift and select all of the text uh, face so now we will create a new layer and we will press ctrl alt press backspace to fill this layer press ctrl d now you can see that we have just selected our font to change the colors now click on that and we will change some of the styles we will change the color overlay and change it to So, uh, I got this color, so it's okay. Now, oh, let me show you color. Sorry, so this is the color D9CB31. Okay, now what we will do is we will simply just need to change the uh, I want to give, uh, give it some uh, reflections to on this top of the text so what we will do is we will simply just click on uh, inner shadow and we will change this to normal and change this color to white uh, we will change the size to 3 oh, sorry it's 0 and change the distance to 3 and we will make it 100% but maybe we should go it down and change this color to and angle to about 90 degrees because the light is coming from up to down side so okay now check whether it is effect uh, it is affecting or not but uh, it is not so much affected let's check and uh, let's try to increase the distance uh, yes now oh, it is pretty much nice so it's okay now the time is to change the colors so we will select the background layer or you are going to select the background layer we will just click on this adjustment layers panel and we will select the I think OE saturation let me first uh, change this color into bold now what we will do is change this oh, so now we go to uh, maybe it should be color balance. Change this color to let's change this color to yellow or maybe orange. Yes, searching for no, not too much. So you want to make it golden so uh, I think it's nice here. So we'll change the highlight to like this. So now we'll select the curve. Let's check what it So it's 
nice here so now what we will do is we will simply just uh, check the remaining thing maybe there is something left i think nothing is left we will just get in here and press alt plus backspace to get black color we just change the normal to soft light and we will change the color to 50% check or a little more to 42 but I think it's better on 40 50% so now we'll get a new layer we will select the rectangular marker tool and we'll go to ellipse elliptical marker tool and we just press shift or we don't even press shift we'll just create a selection around this text like this I think oh no okay so we have created the selection now what we will do is we will simply go to and select press uh, control plus backspace while you have your background color is white and then you will press control plus backspace to create background color now press control D to deselect that now we will press control and take your mouse on this box and you will see that a side box is uh, popped out on your hand so we just give it a click oh sorry we don't need to give it a click so just control D we just select this layer and we will select our text layer so press control D and we will select this layer which we have uh, created a little time ago so uh, now we will press control shift and J to create a new layer and cut it from this main layer we will just delete the second layer and the only thing will be left our selection so select this one and change this to soft light or maybe yes soft light but you can see that soft light is not a good uh, choice so we will just lower down its opacity to about like 37 percent or 36 percent but let me check by using it in soft light no uh, it's much better to add in soft light and we will just go to the settings and we will select the drop shadow and we will increase the size like this and let's decrease the opacity or we just make this a festival and change the fit to about like I think it should be normal and we'll change this to right here okay so you don't need to do that but I like so I just did it let's hide this up this is the final result okay so we did it and that's the final result I hope you like this tutorial if you really like this tutorial please give it a like and show your comments if you have suggestions if you have new ideas what you want to what you want us to make so see you in next tutorial take care and stay safe